guys and welcome back to Creative Pet Keeping. As you can see this is my 10 gallon and I've got a new divider set up. I've got the same corner divider that I was using previously but on top of that I added um, a second layer of protection which is a canvas mesh divider which actually sticks out above all the way up to the um, hood over here so there's no way for my bed to jump out and I got demon bed over here and surprisingly I finally settled on the setup. I would like to have Demon Betta and Mr. Bubbles living like this together because when I tried having Demon Betta alone in his own tank he started getting really depressed and really had a big loss in pigmentation and would just get only happy when I fed him and besides that he would just lay there and stare at nothing. Now this way um, there is a visual barrier as you can see so he can see Mr. Bubbles, but uh, it's not that uh, bothersome of a barrier, I guess you can say, in a sense, focus, in a sense that he can see him and flare him, but he also feels a little secure in his own little territory, so that's kind of what it looks like. I'm still kind of adjusting to this new camera, so sorry if the filming is awkward at the moment. I'm still figuring it out. I also put this almond leaf up here for him, which he loves at the very top. He's been kind of hanging out there a lot and watching the other fish. Now guppies have been able to swim through the bigger holes because there is an area in the back where there are those bigger holes. They're not covered by the uh, canvas mesh. No, he's looking at my finger. Hello. Hey little butt. You're so cute. So that's happening, but they can swim in and out. It just provides him with extra stimulation to be honest. Um, Mr. Bubbles, on the other hand, loves this tank, so I'm not moving him out of this tank. This is the healthiest he's ever been, so he clearly loves this setup. Um, Demon Betta seems to be doing well in this situation as well, because he has some room to explore and swim around, and has some... Oh my god, the neighbors are remodeling. You can hear all the banging. But he does have some mental stimulation, while he still feels, you know, secure in his little... Um, territory. If I had another tank, I think I would set up a bigger split tank. I am considering actually making a DIY uh, divider that will go, instead of being at an angle, let me zoom out, would be um, just sideways so he would have a bigger compartment to hang out with. I saw an awesome DIY uh, tutorial for a divider from uh, Life with Pets. The YouTube channel so I'm actually gonna link you guys to the video so you guys can see her she had um, an awesome idea on how to build a divider that allows for water to flow through but is not necessarily transparent so this will be great for bettas that are more skittish or obsess over each other and whatnot I still like my bettas to kind of see each other because I noticed that it does give them that mental stimulation and makes her life a little more enriching Enrich, full of enrichment. I can't encamp words today, but I think you should check it out. But I, and I would like to try it because, in general, her videos are awesome and she does some great stuff with betta fish. So not only go check out her video, but actually subscribe. She has a lot, a lot, a lot of views on her videos, but not a lot of subscribers. So go, go do it. Let's, let's, you know, try to give her four thousand subscribers or more. More actually better because she deserves it. It's really important and awesome to support other YouTubers that are spreading good information all around and whatnot. And I would love for there to be more popular uh, aquarium hobbyists on YouTube. At the moment, there are, I think, a handful of really popular ones. And then everyone else has really small channels like mine. I consider myself a small channel still. Um, I think we should, you know, change that by supporting our little fishy YouTubers and subscribing and sharing videos because they're awesome. So yeah, this is pretty much how these guys interact. As you can see, they can see each other. Um, they occasionally flare at each other, but it's not too excessive, which is really good. You don't want you want your fish to, you know, get that little bit of exercise while flaring, get excited, but you don't want them to obsess. If they're obsessing, then it becomes overly stressful for the fish. And without the um, aquarium mesh, I did notice that they were kind of obsessing over each other. As soon as I put the aquarium mesh, even though they could see through it, 
they, they kind of chilled out. So yeah, this is going to be my permanent setup for my two males at the moment until anything else changes, but I'm not going to be rotating my males around anymore. Uh, Demon, not Demon Beta, but uh, Master Ball is currently with a silver male, which I still haven't named. I can't, no name seems to seem magical enough for this guy. But he's in, a, he's in a tank with that one. They have a divider too, but I would love to do life with pets. Um, her divider in that tank because uh, Master Ball is one of those more uh, shy males. I mean, he kind of, you know, he'll, he'll puff up and he'll make a big deal, but he's definitely stressed when he sees another male. So I think he would greatly benefit from a barrier that where he cannot see um, another male. So we're going to try it out. We're going to, you know, customize things and my tanks to fit the need of each individual beta and their individual personalities because I think that's very important in the fish keeping hobby. You know, you have certain rules to follow for water parameters and fish care, but you also need to leave room to kind of really look at the type of fish you have and customize your fish's needs. So that's what I'm trying to do. Also, today, uh, the puffer fish are getting picked up. I found a buyer for them. They're going to go to a new home. I came to the conclusion that um, I would have to get a new tank for them. And I don't really want to set up another new tank at the moment. I don't really have room for more tanks over here. So the best thing is to find them another home where they can be happy and have their tank to themselves. Maybe some other puffers. I don't know what the person's setup is, but yeah, he's coming to pick them up. So I know you guys wanted a video about how to take care of freshwater pea puffers. And I could still make a video about that. It just won't have my pea puffers in there because I won't have any at the moment. But yeah, another good thing about uh, fish keeping and pet husbandry is you got to make the decision, the right decisions for your fish. If you don't have the, you know, appropriate housing or situation that is the best for your fish, finding your fish a new home or selling your fish is sometimes a really, really awesome thing to do. So I hope that you enjoyed this bonus video. Um, most of my videos, I tend to try to keep them not too long and educational, but once in a while, I will do this vloggy type video where I talk to you guys, let you enjoy watching my fish and kind of hang out. I know you guys have been asking for a live show soon, so I'll probably have to do that. But there are many things I must do. And I am starting to vlog um, my fish more on my vlogging channel, uh, Creative Pet Vlogs. So there's going to be more fishies there and more of these type of videos where I show you my fish and talk about them. Because I don't want to do too many of those on this channel. So I hope that you enjoyed this video, kind of enjoyed spending time with this particular tank. I know that my sorority tank seems to get the most love, and uh, all my females in the sorority tank are doing awesome. There is a new female that I got, um, that you'll probably see her, I think, in the vlog. Uh, she's still adjusting, but doing really well. And that's about it. I hope you guys had an awesome day. I am going to fix the sink because it's leaking water and I hear water trickling down constantly. Gonna go edit some videos and work, work, work. So I hope you guys had an awesome day. Don't forget to check out Life with Pets and subscribe and give her some love. And also give this video some love too. Give me some thumbs up. Okay, bye guys.